Mishnah says that one of the five occurrences that happened on Shavas Batamas today, the 17th of Tamas, they were commemorating today, is the breaking of the Luchos. Ten Commandments, breaking the tablets. So I want to take a moment to just to focus on what that means. That we had the, ten, the, the Luchos, two tablets, and they were broken. And while there are many, many, many layers to this, I want to focus on one specific point. Rashi tells us, both in uh, Sefer Shmos and in Sefer Devarim, that the word Luchos in the Torah are written chaser, they're missing a letter. Instead of it being spelled Lamed, Vav, Chet, Taf, or Lamed, Chet, Vav, Taf, there's no Vav. Three letters, Lamed, Chet, Taf. Why is it written chaser? Why is it lacking a letter? To teach us that both the Luchos, the two tablets, both of them were equal. And it's a little bit unclear what that means, that they were equal. On one hand, there are a lot more words on one side than the other. The Ramban tells us, there's a discussion as to what was written on the Luchos. The Ramban assumes the opinion that the five on the right side represented the mitzvahs between Adam Lamakom, the commandments between us and Hashem, that we believe in Hashem. The side on the left side, the other last five represented the mitzvahs between Adam Lachavero, mitzvahs between man, interpersonal relationships. So the Mabit points out that if you look at the psukim that refer to the first five commandments, there are a lot of words, a lot of letters. And the left side, the last five are easy. Losechmo, losinaf, losigno, very short, terse. So what's equal about these two? One has a lot of words, a lot of letters. The other one is much fewer. So what does it mean that the two luchos were equal to one another? And the Mabit says a, a fascinating insight. He works very hard at trying to answer this question. And he comes up at the end and says that it must be that the letters and the words on the left side, the last five commandments representing interpersonal mitzvos were larger than the first five. Meaning, let's say if you look at typeset, right? So let's say the right side was size 12 and the left side was size 25, 28, 30. Much bigger, much larger. And therefore, they were shavet. They equaled, at the end of the day, in lines and in space. That's what the Mabi writes. The question is, why did why Hashem have to do that? Why is that important? Hashem could have written the last five commandments with many more words and many more letters. It could have made the right side, the first five commandments representing us and Hashem. Could have put that as fewer words. Why did it have to be that the letters would be smaller in the first five commandments representing the mitzvahs bin Adam Lamakom and the letters on the left side, the mitzvahs bin Adam Lachavero, be much larger? So Matasiel Solomon pointed out as follows. He said that sometimes a person can make a mistake that the way to go ahead and connect to Hashem is through the mitzvahs bin Adam Lamakom, the mitzvahs between us and Hashem. So we have to believe in Hashem, we have to tell the truth, whatever, all those mitzvahs, putting on tefillin, or any mitzvah that we have is between us and Hashem, that's the way to connect to Him. How about the mitzvahs between Adam Lachavero, the mitzvahs between ourselves? Yeah, okay, they're commandments, but you're not going to connect to Hashem by lending someone money. You're not going to connect to Hashem by giving staka. You're not going to connect to Hashem by doing bikur cholim, by visiting the sick or inviting people into your home. That's not the same as putting on tefillin. They're not the same. Comes along the luchos and came to show us that that's not true. That just like the mitzvahs bin Amla Makom are there on the luchos, the mitzvahs bin Amla Chavero are on the luchos as well. In fact, I saw in a sefer on Shabbos called Az Yashir, he points out that the gematria of the Pasuk Vahafta es Hashem Elokecha. You have to love, the commander to love Hashem. Those words, Vahafta es Hashem Elokecha, equals 907. Is the same gematria 
As vahavta l'reicha kamocha ani Hashem. The same gematria that tells us we have to love our fellow neighbor, it's the same thing. They're both on the luchos, they both represent the shavos, the eagle to one another, and a person has to realize that just like we invest a lot of time and effort in our mitzvahs benadom l'makom, studying Torah, putting on our tefillin, our tzitzis, working on all these types of mitzvahs, we have to equally invest in the mitzvahs benadom l'chavera as well, in how we help people, how we worry about people, how we daven for people, how we visit people that are sick, how we try to give to people. We have to invest the same amount. And Rav Matisyal points out something perhaps even deeper. He said, as Moshe was coming down Har Sinai, what was easier to see? B'nai so they're looking at these luchos. What would be easier for them to see? Well, if the letters of the mitzvahs Benam Lachavero were bigger, larger, huge print, so that's what they saw first. And only then they were able to you know, see the fine print, the mitzvahs Benam Lachavero. And he points out because the mitzvahs Benam Lachavero, sometimes you don't feel the connection, you don't feel the growth, you don't feel how this is bringing you closer to Hashem, and therefore, on some level, it's even harder to do. There are many people who aren't even Jewish that are doing mitzvahs Benam Lachavero. There are other people who give charity, there are other people who visit the sick, so we don't feel this is unique to us, and it's something for us to be able to grow closer in our service of Hashem through. And therefore, Hashem had to make those letters bigger and larger to say, look, this is here. The way you treat your friend is super important. And you have to spend time in thinking about how to help your friend in a better way, how to give more, how to be more sensitive, how to be more giving. The Chafetz Chaim has a Sefer called Avas Chesed. Okay? Many people are familiar with a Sefer called Chafetz Chaim, which is on the laws of uh, speaking Lashon Hara, speaking in inappropriate ways, but he has another Sefer, less known, called Avas Chesed. All about the mitzvos that a person is supposed to perform with other people. And it's detailed, and it's Gemaras, and, and, and Halacha, very, very, very nuanced. And in the very beginning, in his Psicha, in a note, he points out something very fascinating. He says, in Parshas Egev, we have three psukim which seem to contradict one another. First, the Pasuk says in Perek Ches, Pasuk Vav, Yishamarta es mitzvos Hashem elokecha. You should watch over the mitzvos of Hashem. Leleches bedrachav. You should walk in the ways of Hashem. Uleyira oso. And you should fear it. First, the Torah tells us to walk in the way of Hashem. And then it says, you have to fear Hashem. Then, later on, two prakim later, Perek Yud, Pasuk Yud Beis, the Torah says, V'ata Yisrael ma'ashem lo'kach Hashem me'imach. What does God really ask from you, B'nai Yisrael? Ki im le'yir as Hashem lo'kachah. He asks to fear God. L'alechas b'chol jerachav. To walk in His ways. In this Pasuk, first the Torah says to fear Hashem, and then the Torah says to walk in His ways. The opposite order. And to love Hashem. It says to fear, walk in Hashem's ways, love Hashem. And the third Pasuk, Perek Yid Alef, Pasuk Chavez, Ki'im Shamur Tishmun is called Mitzvazos, if you watch over all the mitzvos, Le'avaz Hashem Elokeichem, to love Hashem, talks about love first, Le'alechaz Bechol Jerachav, to walk in His ways, now walking in his ways comes after loving Hashem, before in the last verse, like it came before. Uledav Gabo, and to go ahead and connect, to attach yourself to Hashem. So three, for, three psukim. The first one says, walk in his ways, fear God. The second one says, fear God, walk in his ways, love God. And the third one says, love God, walk in his ways, attach yourself to him. So what, what's going on over here? So the Chavetz Chaim says the Torah is coming to teach us a very important lesson. The way to move up in the ladder of connection to Hashem is through halach the bedrachav, walking in His ways. Just like Hashem is good, the ultimate good, always giving and wants the best for us, so too we have to try to emulate those actions, those ways of Hashem, and be good to everyone, to only be giving and caring about other people. 
And therefore, you want to start off, you want to get to fear of Hashem? Halach to bedracha. First, walk in the ways of Hashem, then fear Him. Okay, now you got to fear? Pasuk number two, you got there? You want to advance now to loving God? The halach to bedracha. You have to walk in the ways of Hashem even more. Okay, now you got to loving God. You want to get to attachment to God? Dveikus, connection? What do you need? The halach to bedracha. You have to walk again in the ways of Hashem. And that will bring you each step towards higher and higher levels of connection to Hashem. On the 50th Yurtzai of the Chafetz Chaim, Rav Pam, who was a Rosh Hashiva in New York, one of the great Torah giants of the last generation, got up and he gave an address to commemorate the 50th Yurtzai. And he said as follows, I'm going to read his exact words. He said, the, the nisayon, the test of speaking Lashon Hara, evil speech, is a great one. It's very quick for us to speak badly about another person, right? But it doesn't start at the tongue. It's not just about the technicalities of one's speech. This test originates in the heart, with the way one looks at people. A person whose heart is full of chesed, is full of kindness, who enjoys doing favors and making people happy, whose heart is sensitive to the feelings of other people, such a person will have no problem with evil speech, with speaking Lashon Hara about another person. And he continued, the Chafetz Chaim wrote a sefer called Avas Chesed, Love of Kindness, which is not as well known as the sefer Chafetz Chaim on the laws of evil speech. But the character trait of Avas Chesed, of loving to do kindness, loving to give and to be sincere and caring for other people, is the key to all good character traits. If you have a soul, if you have a neshama that has a feeling of fear, joy, of sheer joy for making other people happy, you would never want to hurt anyone with words which cause shame and embarrassment. And Rav Palm said as follows. He said, he told his students, you have to study this safer. You have to study Avas Chesed. You have to learn the laws and you have to become inspired to care about other people and to perform acts of kindness to other people. And he would say that studying the laws of Lashon Hara, studying the laws of evil speech, that's treating the symptoms. While studying the laws of Chesed is treating the disease. Because if a person really loves other people, how can you ever come and say something bad about them? So we could work on our speech, but we still might have the disease inside. We have to try to work on how we give and how we care and how we love each person. And that has to continue to grow. So it's like, yeah, dude, I'm it. I, I love people. <laughs> it has to grow and it has to become more and more and more. We want to be Allah to We want to walk in the ways of Hashem, like Hashem who is always giving. Even when we're not doing the right thing, He's still giving us. He's still helping us. He's still giving us the ability to look at things, to go to things, to touch things, even when maybe we're not going to the thing that we're supposed to be going to. He's always giving to us because He cares about us and loves us and wants to give to us. How many times do we say, oh, that person doesn't deserve it, so I'm not gonna help him out. But, but how many times don't we deserve it? Hashem still helps us out, right? It's a growth thing, it's hard, it's not so simple, so we have to grow, we have to build, we have to develop ourselves to walk in the ways of Hashem at every step of our growth. We can never stop, we can't just be, okay, got it, let's move on now. We always have to try to develop and become experts in this idea of loving other people and walking in the ways of Hashem. The breaking of the luchos, well, again, I said there's many difficult things that came from that, but one of that is that we lost that ability to see, to remind ourselves that the chesed, the mitzvahs bin al chavero, the mitzvahs on the left side, the five last commandments, the ones that represent the interpersonal behaviors, that that is big, it's large, it's super important. We lost that ability to see it. And then, we go back to rote, yeah, okay, I helped the guy, did that, but I did that, it's even better. We forget, we lose ourselves in the world of spirituality, in our growth, we lose our perspective of how important the other five really are. And as we start now the three weeks, the beginning of the mourning period of the destruction of the base of Mikdash culminating in Tisha B'av, obviously the reason the second base of Mikdash, the temple was destroyed was because of baseless hatred, because we didn't have this love for each other. We didn't care about one another. We weren't giving to one another in the way that we have to. So the breaking of the luchos is an excellent way for us to remind ourselves 
where perspectives have, to, perspectives have to be, where we have to invest our time, where we have to make sure that we're growing and we shouldn't just do it because we were born that way and yeah, we're kind individuals just by definition. We have to build ourselves and build ourselves and build ourselves. And then Be'ezus Hashem will be Zoha, where everyone just loves each other, cares about each other, is always giving to each other, worrying about each other, and will develop an incredible amount of unity, of shalom amongst ourselves, and that will allow for the building of the Beis HaMikdash, Meher B'Amenu. <laughs>